Hey what's up guys this is Neshek from blogtoot.com and this is a very special video because for the first time we are going to create a listing and a directory website which we haven't done earlier in any of this video. Okay so guys this is the website which we have created as you can see on your screens. This is an amazing beautiful super awesome super professional website and let me show you this. This is foursquare.com and as you can see at the background there is a full width image and uh, at the top there is a professional search bar and uh, below that there, is, there are a few different categories and here this is the yelp.com here also at the background we have a full width image then on that we have a professional and really awesome looking search bar and then few categories so for our website which also we have put a background image a professional background image really awesome beautiful uh, image in the background and a awesome professional beautiful search bar on top and then we have few categories over here so basically what i mean to say is that we have followed the procedure the model the design of these big companies which spent thousands of dollars on research and development to find what really works for them and if that works for them then this should also work for us okay so basically we we have followed that design now let me show you how our website looks like so this is the se section which we have seen now when we scroll down we have this sec region section okay so we have four different regions over here los angeles new york Mexico, chicago when you click on los angeles you will see listings which are basically based or located in that, that particular place okay now when we scroll down we have this section this is a very basic and very important section which is claim and get started today uh, it uh, you know motivates the user the visitor to put their business to register their business on our website and we can promote their website and we can also make customers convert to this to their listing okay so this is really important then we have this listing we have three different listing on top page and as you can see ad is written be, uh, uh, beside all these three because these three are our ads and we are also providing ads so suppose someone wants to promote their listing promote their business then, then they can pay some extra money and we'll put these kinds of ads on our website for them this is not google ad or something this is our listing only but we have provided some premium fa facilities for these guys because they are paying more so from this website you can also earn good amount of money from your clients uh, after giving them good service okay now at the bottom we have this testimonial section at the left side we have a video testimonial when we click on this the video plays and at the right side we have a text the normal testimonial section okay then we have this footer the basic footer copyright and your address phone number social icons and so on okay so this is the search bar when you click on this you already get this options and we when you type something you know you can get all these options different options below this so let's select hotels and click on search okay so this is our listing search page again an awesome and professional page as you can see at the right side we have the map and we have some markers over here when we click on this marker we get this thing this thing pops up the name of this business the address and so on same thing over here and here we have those different listings we can also sort it by different uh, uh, criteria over here where if you want to show only those listings which are open right now then we can click on this open now and if you want highest rated uh, then we can click on so we can uh, sort it by different criteria over here okay now let's come back to our home page scroll down and open any one of the single listing to see how a single listing looks like okay so we are opening this the mark hotel okay guys so this is how your single listing will look like at the top as a header we have different images these images are actually uploaded by the user the visitor or the one who owns this listing okay uh, they also put this thing the title subtitle and we can uh, you know put this thing uh, this tick mark uh, besides their name so that we can say yeah we have checked everything and this is a genuine person okay we can also submit a rating which is very important 
the user or the owner of this listing can also provide a video link so that you know to youtube or to any different platform so that they can have uh, you know the uh, people who are visiting this listing they can be satisfied to see that video okay then we have a description over here and we have some different features so you can put in features and uh, with different icons which really looks beautiful okay then we have some facts uh it asks so does it has car parking and the answer is yes so you can have different facts you can have many uh, multiple facts so there this is how the rating looks like very awesome really professional you can have uh, your you, what you want to say you can have it over here you can also upload some images so you basically want to so, uh, show that yeah i went to that place and this is these are the images from that place so this is a genuine place or this is a genuine listing not only that even different users different visitor can rate this particular review okay so they can say yeah this is interesting uh, lol love and so on okay and this is the sidebar at the top we have this timetable today it is day off okay so because it's sunday for these guys mm. okay so then in monday this is the timing and so on okay then we have this map over here we have the address phone number website you can hide the phone number if you want it's all up to you then this is the pricing it says it is moderately moderately priced okay then we have some additional details for example you can provide additional details whether your your listing or your business has bike parking and so on whether you accept bitcoins or not so you can provide different options to the user then you have a contact page where uh, if the user or the visitor who is seeing your listing he wants to contact you then he can mail to the admin so basically the website owner the admin is the uh, middleman between the visitor and the listing owner okay so this is really important then at the bottom we have this ad section as i told you you can charge premium prices to different customers and we can feature their product for example over here in sidebar and at the home page as you as you saw earlier okay so this is how a single listing looks like and when we click on this button which says add listing we'll see how a user will be able to add the listing okay so let's see that page also very important page it has to be something good okay when we when someone does that they get three different options three different plans basic advanced and professional like we get everywhere different plans with different features one feature plan having this feature another one having that feature so basic plan has some feature and most of the important features are not available and then we have advanced plan which is recommended by the admin okay here also we don't have all the features and in the professional uh, uh plan which is ten dollars per listing so for providing one particular listing they will have to pay ten dollars obviously it's all up to you to change the prices and change all these features whether you want to enable them to add your features or not you can also make this thing free so you can have this instead of five dollars the basic plan can be for free it's all up to you okay so let's select this one the advanced one and click on continue okay guys once you do so you'll be redirected to this page this is a page where the user will be putting the title subtitle the city phone number all the details which are required for uh, showing a listing on your website and here this uh, image this is really helpful this is really awesome great done great work done by the theme developer you know this is the image where uh, it shows the whether you are putting your title and subtitle here it will be shown uh, on the website your contact details will be shown over here similarly they have repeated this procedure and this really makes this uh, theme awesome you know outstanding and when they click on save and preview they'll see a preview of how their site or how their listing will look like on the website and after they when they are satisfied they can check out they can pay the price and your their listing will be sent to the admin and you as an admin or the website owner can accept or neglect that rating or you can provide some suggestions you can you know for example the images are not so clear so you can provide some suggestions give man give some really good images so that you know you you'll convert more customers i'll show you how uh, this checkout thing at the end of this video okay so basically i think we have seen everything now let's get started i hope you guys like this demo website this demo website is really awesome as i showed you we are following some really good design and model by different giant companies okay so the next step is to get a domain name and a hosting account okay so open a new tab 
and type in blogdude.com slash tmd. Okay guys, once you do so, you'll be re redirected to this page. This page is a uh, tmdhosting.com. This is the cloud hosting. If you are following me or follow, if you have seen my earlier videos, you know that I follow hostgator.com and have been with hostgator for last five to seven years. And I'm really satisfied with them. But this is the hosting provider, which I came to know about them recently. And I just signed up with these guys and these guys are amazing, man. These guys are so good. Uh, they are so professional. Let me show you. Let me show you the difference between them and most of the hosting providers out there in the market. For example, they have three different plans for cloud hosting, Summer, Raid and Storm. I have used, I have signed up for Storm Cloud. And let us see what is so special about these guys. These guys use SSD space. If you're, if you're, if you have even basic knowledge of computer, you know the difference between SSD and HDD. But if you don't know that, then don't worry. You can go and Google and see the changes. Let me show you. First of all, you can type in SSD versus HDD, you know, web hosting and let's see the results. What are the results? For example, let's open this image. As you can see, the first thing is speed, higher is better. And as you can see, the SSD is way, way, way higher than HDD. And here also it is way higher than HDD and latency, it, it is, it says lower the better. So it is 0.04 milliseconds. So in all the cases, SSD is way better, way awesome than HDD. So this is the main thing about this website. And not only that, that is not the only thing. You also get a free domain, premium support. You get a wildcard SSL. What's that? That is something really amazing. I recently signed up with these guys and they gave me a free domain nayashek.com which I'm really happy about that and as you can see my demo website has a SSL certificate so not only my main website which is nayashek.com has an SSL certificate but also my subdomains and different domains which I link with this particular hosting I get this thing the SSL certificate which costs around $40 in open market if you see so you're saving $40 on each domain okay so that is just mind-boggling man okay then we have this spam experts and money back guarantee 60 days we also have six core CPU running our our, our data centers over there with 6 GB RAM, we have unlimited domain. We can, you know, you can sign up unlimited domain to this particular uh, account. You can have unlimited bandwidth. So these guys are really amazing. By, by now, you know the difference between them. You get a free SSL, that, that to wildcard SSL. You get a free domain. It has SSD space. What else do you need, man? This really uh, boosts up your website, you know, because site speed is really important if you know basic things about seo one of the most important thing is site speed if your site website takes a very small amount of time to load then your site will be ranked higher in google so this is important now you can select any one of these plans uh, you can go with rain cloud or storm cloud as i said you earlier i have signed up with storm cloud so let me select this one and click on sign up now now type in the domain name which you want for free for example you can type in any domain name obviously and if that is available you will be you can go to the next step but I, as i said i already have a domain i already have a, a signed up for this thing so i'm just showing you guys okay so i am typing nayashake.com okay now shake s h a k h okay now click on proceed now this is the checkout page, some really basic information about yourself, first name, last name, email address, phone number, just put all this information over here. And the second one is the payment information, you want to pay it by credit card, debit card or PayPal, both the options are over here. Okay, so you can select any one of them. And the third one is pur purchase information, which data center do you want? So my, I am selecting Singapore because that is the nearest to me. You will also see which one is nearest to you. So you can select that in USA, you can select the Chicago one. Okay, for Indians, Singapore will be uh, more nearer to you and more nearer the hosting uh, server, that better that is. Okay, so select Singapore and then you can select the period. I'm selecting 12 months, you can select 14 months, 
36 months whatever you want select 12 months you don't need all these things so don't tick mark any of uh, them and it sums up to 154 dollars which is an amazing offer okay now after you're satisfied just tick mark this and click on checkout okay guys once you do so you'll receive an email from tmd hosting this email is really important okay so this is not just any random email address this is really important make sure you save this email address copy and paste it uh, somewhere write it somewhere down um, save this thing in your computer in your local computer this is really important because it has all the important information which we need if we mm, fell in any problem then this is the email which we, which can save you these are really important information you have your ftpc panel username password you have your name servers your server ip okay you have your ftp address you know c panel link everything is there in this particular email address so make sure you don't delete or don't do anything uh, stupid with this email address save this thing and keep this thing secure now what you have to do is here at the bottom you have the control panel link open that link in the new tab basically this link is your website name slash c panel so my website name is nayashek.com so it is nayashek.com slash c panel once you do so you'll be redirected to the c panel now what you have to do is just uh, copy and paste your username and password from here ftp c panel username password and paste it over here and obviously click on login now this is the beautiful c panel by tmd amazing super awesome now what you have to do uh, we have to install wordpress on our website okay so scroll down and search for wordpress this is the one click on that okay now click on install now wordpress is free which is awesome okay now select http www you don't have to select https right now don't worry about that i'll show you how to do convert this to https really important really easy in fact now select the domain name on which you want to install your wordpress so i am selecting my domain name and delete this wp in directory uh, make sure everything is empty nothing is there over here now we have site saying site name description you can leave this for now because we can change these things uh, later on in wordpress so not that important then we have account admin very important now here just don't let it be to admin and password or else your website will be hacked within few days you know because there are so many hackers waiting for you so you know change it and make something uh, dif different and something difficult uh, for anyone to guess for example i'm uh, typing nayar shake and n and s is capital okay so, uh, then password also you can have a mixture of alphabet and numerical you can have some uppercase and lowercase alphabets also so that you know the difficult the alphabet the better it is okay now here it is the email address make sure your the email address which you are providing is active and you have access to that email address okay now select the language obviously we'll select english then at the bottom click on install well guys as you can see it took few seconds just few seconds to install wordpress on a website so now what you have to do is here you have the administrative url just open this link in a new tab and you will see that you are already logged in signed in so don't worry about that okay now uh, you see uh, we already have an ssl certificate over here but if you don't have this thing then what you can do is just click on settings over here and here you might have http so after p just type in s okay so it should be https colon slash slash your website name uh, in both this uh, wordpress address and site address okay and after you do so just click on save changes uh, and after that hopefully you will have this ssl certificate now what we have to do we have to install the theme on our website so which theme is great with there are many themes uh, in market well, frankly speaking but the theme which we have used and the most important and amazing theme according to me is the listing pro theme which you have used and uh, which you see or uh, the saw the demo website which i show you that was the listing pro theme really amazing so for that what you have to do open a new tab and type in blogdo.com slash listing okay 
and press enter obviously you will be redirected directly to this page the listing pro theme page this is amazing theme believe me guys this is just awesome you can go ahead you can check the ratings and so on you have the link now uh, blogtoot.com slash listing go there check all the ratings get satisfied then purchase the theme it's an amazing super awesome theme it was awarded as weekly top seller as you can see over here I know uh, it, it, it has really been performing very well more than 1000 com uh, comments and more than 100 ratings with, uh, with 4.76 average rating which is amazing. It is the number one best seller in directory and listings since April 2017 which is just amazing. So this theme is just amazing you don't have to think too much about this because uh, I have selected this theme after doing a lot of research I saw many themes but this is the theme which I selected so make sure you purchase this theme and download this theme once you download this theme let me show you how it will look like so let's open this theme this is how it will look like uh, you'll see a zip file okay what you have to do is just click on uh, extract files unzip this thing I have already done that so here it is and this is the file you have to upload on your website most of the people uh, just upload the file which they downloaded from the theme forest that is not the file which you have to download you have to extract that and under that you will see this file mostly in all the cases uh, when, whenever you download a, a theme from theme forest this is how you do it you unzip that file and under that you will have the main theme file this is the one okay so this is the file we'll be uploading so come back to your website click on appearances now click on add new at the top you have upload theme click on that now choose file okay so this is the file which we have to choose listing pro click on open now click on install if you see at the left bottom corner if you're using google chrome you can see these uh, progress five percent six percent uploading so it will take few a few minutes or just a minute or two so by the time what you can do guys you can subscribe to my channel this is an amazing channel you can see all my videos there are many videos available for e-commerce social networking website i make a lot of videos and i really put a lot of efforts in making these kind of videos the quality is really awesome of the website which i make maybe the video quality is not not that good but the quality of the website which i make is just outstanding so make sure you guys subscribe to my channel you can also give a thumbs up to this video because you know as i said i put a lot of efforts and as you can see the rem website was awesome so if you like that make sure you give a thumbs up and any doubt you guys have any query anything stuck uh, you know in your mind then you can post that question post that doubt mm, below in the comment section and i'll be more than happy to help you guys i'm here to help you so if you see any error if you see any problem go ahead comment in the comment section below i'll try to sort it out for you guys okay so it is still loading let it load Oh okay, yes, so our theme is successfully installed. Now it's time to activate the theme. Just click on activate. You can cancel all these things. Okay, now you just have to go with the flow. Just click on let's go. It will automatically uh, you know, install all these plugins and few pages will be created automatically. Don't click on this skip this step okay make sure you install all these plugins so just click on continue and all the plugins will automatically be installed for you guys this is awesome man okay so as you can see the progress uh, the composer is installed and then we have ads and so on everything is getting installed done success it will take some time few minutes maybe a single minute or two so let it load Now just click on this skip this step because we don't want to import any content just click on skip this step it says ready view your website just click on view your new website 
Okay guys, so this is how your website looks like right now. Now let's start creating this website and let's convert this website into something awesome like this. Okay, so for that, what you have to do is just click on this link over here. Uh, you will menu hover this, my blog, whatever it is written, you will see this dashboard option, click on that. Now first thing is to activate the listing pro because when you don't activate it, you will not get most of the features, most of the awesome features. So you can get this activation link from theme forest or you, you can also, you know, message the, the theme owner, theme creator, they will give you the purchase code. So it's really easy. Go to theme forest, you will see the purchase code or you can uh, comment below the theme. Uh, they will give you the purchase code. Okay. So I'll put, uh, I'll put in my purchase code, click on activate, then I'll continue this video. Okay guys, when you put in the code and click on activate, it should say valid license key if your key is valid. Okay, so my key was valid. I put that code, I click on activate and it says valid license key. Now it's time to create our homepage and start doing the fun thing. Okay, so for that, hover here under pages and you'll see this option called add new, just click on that. Now we have to add a new page which will be our home page. Okay, so just type in the title as home page. Okay, and click on publish. Okay, now we have to open our website in a new tab. So what you can do is hover here, you'll see this visit site. Just open this link in a new tab. Okay, so as you can see, it looks exactly the same and nothing has changed because we have just created a page which is named home page, but that is not technically our home page okay so let's make that page our home page so click on customize and here you you have this option static front page just click on that select a static page and under front page select home page okay and here as you can see there are so many pages already created we didn't create any of them we just have created the home page but there are many pages which are already there which is awesome you know and when you select this home page, as you can see, you already have this image. Obviously, you can change this image, but you also have this search bar and everything. So you don't have to create all this thing. You already get it only by selecting a single page. Okay. So once you're done, just click on save and publish and click on this X button. Okay, guys. So this is awesome. We have our search bar, which looks really cool. We have all this thing. We have this image in the background. Now let's start creating the categories and so on because as you can see in the demo categories and all these things so let's start creating that come back to your dashboard here you have some blue things blue options over here under listings you'll see different options you there are categories so just click on categories okay there are many categories for example one of them is hotels so under name you will type in hotels okay leave this luggage blank it will automatically be filled by this Okay, now you can select a category icon. For example, when you click on over here, you see there are different icons. Here also, you know, cat every category has a different icon. So you have to select a category icon. I have given a link in the video description below. Go to that link. It will direct you to my website. Uh, there is a post which I have written, uh, which I have typed basically. And you will see all the important links, uh, many different, uh, all the images, which I almost all the images, which I have is, used in my website, you will find everything over there. This is the post. You will see a direct link to this particular post. So don't worry about that. Okay. Here it is listing pro theme. When you click on this, you will be redirected to the theme. You have host creator. If you want to use host creator, I'll also provide TMD link over here and obviously you can click on this button to subscribe to my channel and here is the images download so make sure you download all the images which i have used in this video just click on this download button and everything will be done for you don't worry okay so come back over here under categories and under category icon click on insert image and uh, click on select file okay and this is the email file which you'll get if you download those images from my website list images listing pro this also no dot sorry yeah th yeah this one this is the one now you have to extract this thing and you'll get something like this here it is and now under categories here it is okay so what we are creating we're creating hotel okay so let's select this one bed click on open super fast upload okay so just click on insert into post you can also have a 
uh, category banner that's not so important and we can also add features but we'll do that later now it's time to add categories just click on add new category okay guys so this is how it looks like as you can see it is hotel slug is hotel as i said slug is already filled now count no product because we haven't added any listings so count is zero we have the icon over here so similarly you can create as many categories as you want this is easy super easy i would say okay and now let's start creating the features as i showed you features like you know car parking or not you can have an icon and besides the icon it will it will be saying car parking so that really looks cool you know so first feature okay let's make that only car parking because we are talking about car parking so car parking is our feature okay now this is awesome man you can have some description about this thing i don't know why you have that but you can have some description you can put some description now you can select icons from font awesome website now let's open this website in a new tab font awesome dot, dot io slash icons slash okay when you just open this link in a new tab you will be redirected directly to this website okay now what do you have to do for example this is what car so we want a car icon so here in the search bar let this page load it is taking a lot of time cancel all these things okay guys so here in the search icons just type in car okay you have so many car cards and so on so this is the one we use and it says car okay so it says as you can see the name here this is the code so the code is car but before car you have to put fa which stands for font awesome so it will be fa dash car okay click on add new feature and a new feature has successfully been added. This is awesome, man. We see the icon over here. The count is zero because we haven't uploaded any listing. We haven't done any listing. So it will uh, obviously show zero. And similarly, you can create as many features as you want. And we'll link all these features to different categories. For example, let's link this to the category which we have just created. Just click on go to categories over here. We have just created the hotels category so click on edit okay and here when we scroll down we have these features just go there search for car parking here it is just select now when the user will put the one who is uh, giving the listing when they'll put car uh, sorry hotels in the uh, category they will get all this feature app options over here okay so make sure you put your features under each categories okay you can put one feature under multiple categories obviously now click on update now you can also create tags which is also very easy tags can also be like hotel food you now restaurant and so on just type in hotel leave everything blank click on and you have a new tag which is awesome now you can also locations in fact you have to add locations for example let me add mumbai amchi mumbai we love mumbai if you have ever been to mumbai you are awesome okay so you can have a location image from here you can upload a location image for example here is if you, as you see we have chicago and different things over here so there is an image okay so basically that is what it is so click on insert image and again in that same file which i have given you you'll see all those images you will see under cities okay we don't have mumbai right now because we haven't used that in our demo website so we will select chicago click on open i click on insert into post and let's change this to chicago okay man fine okay now click on add new location easy super easy it was really awesome and now you can also do one thing for example you don't want to add too many locations because you already have this option of uh, this search option so don't need to add too many locations but whenever you want to do that you can just do that over here okay and that sometimes you know you have a state and you have a city so what you can do you can type in Maharashtra over here and you can create a new region as Maharashtra and when you are creating Mumbai what you will do from your parent location you will see Maharashtra select Maharashtra so basically you are, you are saying that Mumbai is under Maharashtra so if someone when someone selects Maharashtra they will also see the results for Mumbai because Mumbai is under Maharashtra 
common sense okay guys so this is how you do it now we have form fields uh, as i showed you form fields were let me show you what those form fields were let's open any one of this okay let's scroll down and see where it is where it is okay here it is so these are basically the you know those form fields okay here it will be shown additional details accept android pay yes or no you can select that okay so let's add a new form field click on add new field obviously and let's um, select first one accept credit card okay now here you have text different things now when you're you know posting this kind of question accept a credit card obviously there are only two options yes or no so we won't select text over here we'll select drop down okay now here you can put in yes and for the next option you can put a comma and no okay so now when they will select this option they'll get two options yes or no so for a credit card they can select yes we we offer credit card we accept credit card or if they don't accept credit card they'll select no so really simple stuff okay and here you have to select which categories you want to uh, know have this form fields for so if you want to have this form filled for all the categories you can select select all but we have only created one single category till now so we are selecting this thing and click on publish okay guys so we have created category feature tag location and uh, form fields everything which is needed now it's time to create a listing so how click on over here listing under listing click on add new so just select this thing copy this title paste it over here then this is the description copy it paste it over here so basically now you know where all these things come from so the thing which you type over here will be displayed over here fine and this is the title so it will be displayed over here now here you can select the category we have created only one category till now which is hotels so obviously you can select only one you can also add a new category from here for example restaurants or whatever restaurants i hope the spelling is right i'm not good at that okay so we have two different categories now you can select uh, and create multiple categories from your only and also from your both the options you have now we can have a tag when you type in something you get this tag if it is already created if it is not created you click on add and it will be created okay fine now here we have different options first one is business tagline this is the business tagline legendary sushi mastro in your town okay now put in the address location okay let's copy this location from here okay let's copy it from below okay copy paste it over here fine and you can put the latitude longitude for that there is a website called latlong.net latlong.net i guess or dot com dot net i think yeah it is dot net and you can put this address over here click on find and you'll get this latitude and longitude just copy this latitude paste it over here copy the longitude and paste it under longitude easy okay put in the phone number whatever it is fine email address Fine. website the twitter my twitter is twitter.com slash real Nayar. you can follow me on twitter facebook id and google plus youtube link uh, you basically know my youtube link hopefully it is youtube.com slash nayar shake nayar shake fine okay you can also uh, have a video url as i said this is it will be shown over here when you put a url it will be shown over here fine and you can also upload image gallery so let's upload some images okay let's come back to this categories not categories listings sushi do we have sushi yeah this is the one select all these images click on open okay so uploading speed is awesome as i said ssd really works man it is really awesome okay now click on save featured gallery 
now here it is show price status okay let me show you this is the one so you, either you can select no not interested prefer not to say or you can select this moderate pricey whatever it is price from ten dollars to hundred dollars whatever you can put it just don't forget to put the dollar sign or rupee sign or euro whatever sign you want to put claimed or not claimed this is claimed we'll say because we are creating this site so we can say yeah this is claimed okay now here it says this is a fact which says speciality so let's click uh, copy speciality and you can have this paste this question so this thing will show up over here okay then there is another fact which says history okay so you can click on this add new now we have this second one click on over here and select all this thing from here and paste it over here now here you can change the timing your business hour and so on and here you're getting the features option if you remember when we created feature we linked feature with the category so basically because of that we are seeing this option so select this car parking yes do you accept credit card here also extra fields if you remember while creating extra fields at the bottom we had the category we selected all so for that we had we are getting this option if we had not selected this we would not get this option both the options okay so we accept credit cards yeah fine okay fine guys now location chicago because we have only one location right now now we can have a featured image okay if you leave this i think oh no first we have to put a featured image let's put a featured image let's select any one of this select this one this maybe this one looks this looks beautiful i don't know what that food is but this looks beautiful okay now click on publish okay guys so successfully we have created our first listing which is awesome we have created the categories features tags locations form fields everything and finally we have created our first listing let's see how it looks okay so just right click on this view post and open this link in a new tab okay man this looks killer it is awesome man it is awesome as you can see really professional neat and clean we have the price everything which we had put additional information except credit card you know we have this thing already over here so as you can see man this really looks awesome okay you have the car parking over here the features and everything so this is amazing i really love it good this is how your listing will look like now let me take some time i'll pause this video and add some listings so that i can show that on our website because you know we don't want to see a blank website and i can't show you the same steps creating categories again everything again then creating a, a listing that will really waste your time a lot so i'll pause this video i'll create some listings manually and then i'll be back see you soon guys welcome back guys as you can see i have added two more listings we had sushi kashiba whatever that is and i have added the mark hotel and core wellness so that you know we can at least see how our website looks like one listing and whole website would look really terrible so i have added two more now what we have to do we have to see how our list listing page looks like so let's see and change that so for that scroll down in your dashboard you'll see this option theme options over here click on that okay guys as you can see there's so many different options over here now what we have to select we have to select this listing setting the first option is add listing only by logged in users obviously it should be off it is off let it be off because you know we we want uh, our logged off users also to be able to add a listing so that they can already you know they will when they add a listing they are you know automatically log, have created an account and they are logged in okay so make this thing uh, off then you can see the format and so on how many listings should be there per page you can increase or decrease this according to you then you have your upload your map pin if you remember we, on top of map we have this marker so you can change this marker with any red marker or anything you want so this is the marker which uh, default marker now listing view okay if you remember in the demo website how we had uh, the listing uh, at one side we had this map and the other side we had the listing so this is the that type one side list map other side listing let me show you again if you want okay for example let's see restaurant 
here it is as you can see guys we have map and we have this thing so this is the type we want to select from here so make sure this is selected and this one is selected because as you can see over here uh, this, this is the design and this is the design so both the thing will be second one listing page layout the second one listing page layout the second one fine and i think after this we should click on save changes okay all these ch changes have said now next option is listing and submit and edit now here as i showed you uh, uh during the demo website that this is the image when a uh, user is adding a listing so we don't obviously want to remove this image we want this image to be here if you want to remove and upload your own image i don't know why you would do that but if you want to do you wish you can do that but i don't recommend obviously these images are really good let it be how it is okay you can change this quick text and all these things from here if you want but i would recommend let it be everything here is so perfect that i don't want you to change anything from here if you have for there's different options for example you may not need but for example it is image uploading so if you don't want the user to upload image then obviously we can make this off if you don't want the website to show locations then you can put it off so there are few options which you may consider but i uh, still don't know don't think so that you should consider that because we want images we want the map we want all the thing all the important things are there you, nothing is like any random thing or such okay so make sure everything is over here or you can change according to your need now let's see the review option it's fine let it be instant sign up what does this mean by the way if the user is giving a review he will you know instantly be uh, uh, prompted to create a account or the account will already be created for him okay leads form let be how it is listing claim we want to have this listing claim make the uh, make sure this is the, uh, all right and make sure this is on so that you know uh, someone can if someone else just creates a website it just creates a listing and uploads it and you're not the guy matlab the real guy is, has not uh up, added that listing some other random guy has added the listing the real guy can claim this okay this is not his guy this is mine okay so we want to enable these things once you're done everything just click on save changes okay so with this we have successfully done all these changes over here now let's see how our home page looks like now just click on refresh and see the changes nothing changes actually and we don't have if you see we don't have this category icon so here like we have in the demo website let me show you for example over here this is not there so let's add that okay come back again over here theme settings go to banner settings okay banner with search should be okay banner height is 610 i would recommend that size because changing that size makes a and a lot of uh, mistakes over there you can change it you can change this image or you can select you can just delete this and upload your own image if you want okay now here you have to select those categories which we want for example we want hotels we want restaurants we want services we want shipping or shopping whatever it is if you don't see uh, any category over here it basically means that you haven't added any product to that category okay so if you don't see go check your category whether everything is there or not if you don't see any category it means that category is empty you haven't added any product in that okay select listing categories drop down in search what does this mean for example when you click on over here in the search bar you have different listing categories okay so you have to select these things now so again we are selecting the same four because this is the only four which i have created okay now you can sell uh, change all these things for example here it says example food service barber hotel here as you can see the placeholder for example food service barber you can change all these things okay for example if you're creating a real estate website you might need to change this thing okay now you can change all these things if you want and after you're done just click on save changes fine now again let's come back to our home page refresh and i hope everything is fine now yeah, everything is fine except that icon because i haven't i have created these categories but i haven't put the icon that's why i'm not seeing not an issue uh you if you put the icon as i showed in the categories you will obviously see that okay now let's add these things these locations okay 
so again come back over here now what we have to do uh, we have to go to this page and here you see edit page open this link in a new tab now click on back end editor okay now click on add element now we have to add the locations so search for locations this is the one location select this and select all the locations which you want yeah okay so um, let's select four locations any four click on save changes click on update okay now come over here refresh the website and let's see how the website looks like now okay as you can see we have four different images or uh, four different uh, uh, different regions over here but i have only one with image this is basically because i have only put this thing for as featured image while i create when i created all this thing put the featured image so basically you have to follow that which i had showed earlier this is just a quick shot that uh, so that i don't have to waste a lot of time okay so this is the one for which i showed how to put this icon and i have also shown you guys how to put this featured image so make sure you see that and all this thing featured image now this is not how it looks uh, as you can see this is the look we want so again go back to that page it is still loading okay now click on this pencil button and here this is boxed view make this as abstracted view and click on save changes click on update and now the changes should be done click on refresh okay guys so we have that design but as i said we don't have the image because i haven't put any featured image that is why i'm not seeing anything now i this is also we have to put a heading and a subheading okay heading uh, subtitle and title so come back again on this page on the home page and now click on this button this pencil icon this will edit the row okay so click on that here you have row title just put that title over here and you have row subtitle just copy this thing from your row description paste it over here you can you know change the color of the title you can change the background color for this row the whole row okay i'll show you that that will come later on you can center or left align whatever it is now click on save changes click on update now again coming back to your website now we should see the title and subtitle after we refresh the website hopefully okay well, guys as you can see now we have the title and subtitle so this is awesome we have successfully created this category now let's see the next section which we have to create this is section claim and get started today section okay so again come back to your website this page home page editor now click on this plus button to add a new element now search for column elements okay this is the one listing pro column element select this okay now we have to select this left image this uh, this image i have given this image in that folder so click on this plus button click on upload select the file and let me see where that file is this is the file okay video preview no this one yeah i have named this wrong so this is the file basically select this click on open okay now click on set image now we have these things over here it is written claim best way to start managing your business listing is by claiming and so whatever so it is everything you can make some changes if you want okay first column title second column title third column title if you want to make some changes you can do so now click on save changes and here also we have this style title and subtitle so copy this again click on this pencil button to make some changes in the row row title fine subtitle or description and this time we also have to change the background color for example if you see over here the top one is white the bottom one is not white it is different color okay so come back over here the color which i have used is code is uh, hashtag eff3f6 okay this is the color which i have used you can use any color make sure it is light gray type color okay that will look good now click on save changes click on update and i hope 
everything will be all right now come back to your home page click on refresh and hopefully everything should be fine okay okay everything is fine except that we are getting a box over here we are not getting this full width okay the background color should be full width but we are getting a box so again come back over here click on this pencil button scroll down scroll down row type oh. okay where it is okay here it is center content you have to select full width center content click on save changes update and hopefully this time everything will be fine just click on refresh and everything should be fine because we have changed that setting okay guys it looks cool now everything is fine the uh, top one is white the bottom one is halka light blue if you know halka blue halka nila okay so it is light blue now let's see the bottom section this is the section we, where we have our listings okay so again come back this page the home page now again click on this plus button to add a new element and type in post search for post and we have to select this one listing posts now just select whether you how many posts you want we have three posts so we'll select three and if you guys have noticed if you guys are seeing how easy it is to create a website with this theme everything is ready made everything is created for you guys you just have to you know add this element and make some changes so you don't have to do anything okay everything is so damn easy you're saying a lot of time you don't invest you're not wasting time on anything you're you're getting everything ready made you just have to change uh, the image and the text and so on fine guys now what we have to do we have to add this title exclusive paper exclusive listing in our directory whatever it is click on this pencil button to make changes in the row row title no this is not the row title row title was exclusive i'm really okay click on save changes click on update obviously and let's again come back to our website refresh the site and everything should be fine hopefully successfully we are seeing but seeing only two uh, listing maybe that listing does not have a thumbnail okay that's why it is not showing so not a problem uh, let this thing be showing okay so we are seeing both this listing over here okay fine now what we have to do let's see what is the next this is the video testimonial fine now click on this plus button search for testimonials and you should select not client one this is the one video testimonials now we have to select the video preview image this is also given in the file everything image all the images are given in the file this is the one just select this thing click on open now click on set image okay now we can put in any video url you want you know so i am not putting anything now we have the testimonial title author name author company and so on so this is the testimonial title people talking about us just type in over here this is the guy richard james okay just copy paste it over here this is the company what is this company dx media i don't know what that is with this thing just copy paste it over here you can you know upload this guy's image avatar from here that is also given you know everything is given basically in the file this is the one author avatar just select that click on open this thing is amazing just click on set image now here you have to type the testimonial content okay so this is what it is just copy this from the demo website paste it over here click on save changes uh, have anything no we haven't don't have anything else now click on update and i hope with this uh, if nothing goes wrong our website the home page will be complete now we'll move on after this if everything is fine okay and this one if you remember the uh, the first section was white then we had that light blue color then white then again for this also we should have a light blue color so again come back to that page last this one with video testimonials edit this row 
and again put that color make sure you put the same color okay so that was hashtag e double f 3f6 okay fine this is what it was click on same changes update and everything should be fine and we should complete our home page hopefully okay i don't know why i do the same mistakes again and again again i forgot to make this thing full width okay again come back i'm sorry guys now click on this pencil button again scroll down center center select full width center content click on save changes click on update and click on refresh okay boom now successfully we have created the home page congratulations guys the main and the most important thing you have achieved if you're following me obviously you have achieved this thing and we have created the most important most crucial thing now let's select this thing let's see how the uh, if you see in the demo website the, there is a menu and we have a menu over here so let's see how we make changes in the menu and let's also see how we change the header okay so again come back to the this file the theme file here is the header option there are three types of header this one is selected the third one and this is the one which i have selected the blue one you can select this white one you can also select this one okay but i have selected this one so after you do so just click on save changes okay now we have to see the menu settings so for that here you'll see appearances at the left sidebar hover appearances and select menus click on leave fine so we have to create a new menu let's give it a name main you can name, name it anything main menu main menu one whatever it is you just have to for it's your for your understanding that you should know okay this is the menu you are talking about you don't have to put all this thing this is already there in the home page in the menu so don't worry about that you just have to put this thing explore and all these things so first thing is explore when you click on explore uh, you are not uh, di redirected anywhere you just stay on the same page okay so for that we have to click a custom link in the url type in hashtag so basically when you do that you are not redirected to anything that becomes a link but uh, that doesn't you uh, know redirect you anywhere so that is important express no it was explore explore now click on add to menus fine guys now we have all the categories under that okay stay over here but not this category these are basic categories the post categories we had listing categories okay we are not seeing listing categories don't worry there's an option over here which says screen option just click on that and we have listing categories where we have it where we have it man categories i hope this is the one yeah it is the one so just select this select all the categories which you want in the menu click on add to menu and back this thing over here so that you know it all comes under explore we want all these four things to come under explore and select home page menu and inner pages menu okay if you don't select this thing this thing will not show up okay after you do so just click on save menu come back to your website refresh and everything should be fine we should see those changes over here okay guys success as you can see explore and we see all those changes over here now let's see the footer settings over here in the footer we have this address and all these things so let's see that again come back over here and you have to select this thing the theme option and how when you how our theme options you get footer somewhere find that here it is select that okay you can also just click on this theme option and from here select footer so both the ways okay guys here is the footer option you can change the footer top area background color footer top area background color from here as you can see this is the color you can change both this color and this color if you want then you have facebook url you can put in your facebook url over here if you want okay you, you put in all your urls over here then you have the copyright information if your website name is something else then instead of listing pro just type in your website name for example block dude and obviously you can type delete this and type in your address from here and your phone number and your 
theme information if you don't want this thing this theme information you can just delete this okay and you can change these things also for example what does it say it says proudly listing pro by credio studio okay so instead of credio studio suppose you want to buy nayar shake so you can put in nayar shake okay and here if you see credio studio is linked to some page okay this is the page uh, okay the credio.com so i want my website over here so what i'll do is www.blockdude.com fine it's double g and target blank it means that when someone clicks on this link it will open in a new tab okay so after you do so just click on save changes come back to your website refresh and things should be fine hopefully okay everything is fine we have nayar shake which will redirect us to blockdude.com we have this blockdude over here you make all those changes it will appear over here so we have successfully edited and created the footer section now let's see the ads section okay as i said ads will be displayed on your home page uh, on single listing uh, at the bottom if you saw that demo website when i was showing i showed that everything okay again come back to the theme options here you should see this thing ads option okay here it shows you everything about this okay now random ads now you have to select the pricing okay random ads is just puts an ad price over here then we have detail page ads okay then you have top in search and taxi mini basically when a person search something for example is searching for a hotel in mumbai then if you if any user has you know subscribe to this package 50 dollars package then their their product will be at the top you know you you see this everywhere whether on youtube on google you type anything and you see two or three ads at the top so basically that is what it is you can change the pricing from here you can change the ad duration okay for how long you want this thing to be you can change everything from here whatever you want and click on save changes okay now let's add some ads for here it is now click on add new okay now we can put in any uh, title for example let's put in for sushi kashiba i don't know whether i'm pronouncing it right or wrong sushi sushi kashiba okay now select this listing we want this listing over here and select any package for example this guy or this company has opted for 50 dollars top in search okay so when anyone searches for something their website or their listing will be at the top okay so they are spending they are investing 50 dollars and they are getting the returns now click on publish for example let me show you in our website just click on over here select hotels click on search we have created only one uh, that's why we are seeing but if, even if there are multiple then this one will be shown at the top with this sign add and rest all will not have this sign okay so this is what it means you yeah, when user is searching for some category at the top this thing will be shown because this guy is paying more money so this is what money works fine now we have successfully created ads and seen how ads work now let's create contact us page okay so again come back to your website and here it is appearances no not appearances with first let's see whether a contact us page is already created or not so just click on pages and let's see there is no contact us page so first we'll have to create a contact us page click on add new give any title you want and from template you have to select contact page make sure this is very important okay you put any title but you have to select contact page from template click on publish okay now scroll down go to theme options under theme options go to contact where do we have that contact 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 to uh, here it is contact page click on contact page okay now here you can uh, make changes over here in the title of the contact information your address your phone number you have to put everything you are if you want to show social links you can put on or off it's all up to you now select form settings okay 
so title for form contact us we'll see what this is first let's see all the options then we'll see the page contact us page which we have created success message for when the person has successfully filled the form you'll he'll get this success message your message was sent successfully it will be in i will be in touch as soon as i can okay so you can change this message if you want okay now we have contact map setting okay this is the latitude this is the longitude you can click on save changes if you guys don't see the map by the way on your website uh, i'll give a, a video link in the video description below so you can watch that um, link uh, you watch that video and hopefully you will that will help you because uh, website requires an api from google to show map on your website okay so that link will surely help you make sure you watch that uh, you watch that video if the contact doesn't uh, if the map doesn't show up on your website fine so everything should be fine you can select your latitude and longitude from the latlong.net website as i showed you okay now let's see how the page looks like okay guys so this is how it looks like you have the address and everything if you remember you can change this thing from here also as i said you contact information you you change anything from here all the changes will take place over here and if you don't see this map go and watch that video that will help you you have this contact form over here so all these changes from you you, you can change it from here okay so with this we have completed the contact page now let's see what is left i think okay let's add the contact page over here in the menu for that again come back to your dashboard how our appearances go to menus and now at the top you see contact page if you don't see click on view all here you'll see contact us page select that here it is it has automatically come, come over here click on save menu now come back to your website refresh the website and you should see that here it is contact us page so that is done contact page is done now let's see some email management stuff again come back over here on the dashboard theme options under theme options you'll see email management click on that okay so basically what is email management when a person signs up for your website he'll get a certain email address a certain message when a person adds a listing he'll get a message when a person when a person's listing is approved he'll get a message or an email a mail from your website so basically those are the settings which you'll see over here the first one is email address make sure you put a proper email address because they will receive email address from this particular mail address okay and your name should be there over here my instead of my blog type in your company's name for example blogtoot.com so they are receiving mail from blogtoot.com now first one is new registered user okay so subject for new registered user your username and password on website url so basically uh, their username and password will be sent to their email address and they will be asked to log in in the website with that email address and username which is awesome a great premium feature and this is the mail they will get welcome to our website website url name this will be changed website url uh, with your website name for example welcome to nayar shake you can log in now using the below credentials username will be given password will be given they will logging in with that okay similarly the next one what do we have new user registration same thing submit listing now from this thing whenever you have this div style option what you have to there is a issue i hope this guy will the theme uh, person will uh, solve this issue as soon as possible actually when you see this thing uh, when uh, if you don't change or make the changes which i'm going to show now a user will receive this thing uh, from you div style whatever it is a code but we don't want him to see the code so what we can do is just select it's simple don't worry just select everything control x to uh, to cut everything now click on over here text now here is where we put in all the html code not in the visual thing okay now click on over here click on control plus v that will paste all the code over here now he'll get a proper formatted message okay so for all these things where you have div and where you have any html you have to do the same thing just cut all the thing and paste it in the text section you have few uh different uh, i guess uh, six seven uh messages so you have to do this this thing for all of them 
so that they don't get a weird code but you know they get a real message from you that will really be awesome okay so make sure cut everything from visual go to text and paste it over there here also cut everything go to text paste it over here if you don't if you are facing any problem if you are stuck up anywhere in the tutorial go ahead comment uh, in the section below i'll be more than happy to help you guys okay so don't worry if you are stuck anywhere i'm already there to help you now these things you can you don't have to change all these things this is fine this is fine all this thing fine so basically as i said when the uh, anyone is making a claim and their claim is approved then uh, they'll get this message your claim has approved your claim on listing and url so that listing url will be given for example your claim on listing on this particular hotel has been approved okay so make these changes click on save changes very important guys this step was make sure don't miss this step and do everything properly okay so we are done with email management now the pricing plans if you remember when we clicked on add listing we were redirected to the pricing plans so for that first we have to create a plan three or two or four different plans okay so again come back to your dashboard scroll up to the top and here we have pricing plans just hover that click on add new price plan okay so basically we'll be creating two or three okay so first one let's say basic or let's give a free also uh, for example a free uh, plan then a paid plan then a premium plan uh, better than the paid one okay so in free plan you check whatever you want to allow the users to have access to for example if you want to your user to show his contact uh, uh, information okay you can check mark this you can tick mark this you can tick mark this whatever you want if you want your user uh, if you want to allow your user to upload a video you can have that thing you can select all these things okay so for example now for free you want to give only four features rest all you don't want to give this feature to the free plan they will have to upgrade to the paid plan so that they can access the different features okay now we have to select the package type okay whether you want to charge them for per listing or a whole package okay so when you charge for whole package if they if you're charging fifty dollars so for fifty dollars for particular amount of days they can upload or they can put in any amount of listing which is not recommended so i think it's all up to you if you if you think package is good for you you can select that but i'll go for pay per listing okay fine so they'll be paying a certain amount uh, for per listing you can select the background color uh, of the box okay select some color like this let's select this blue color okay now here price as i said for paper listing uh for example it is free okay sorry it is free so we don't have to put in any price over here okay empty field will be considered as free plan so make this thing empty duration for 30 days it doesn't matter when you they are getting a free plan okay fine we can put 30 but for example uh, now we can say key you are using a free plan for 30 days that is enough now you have to pay and upgrade your plan <laughs> it's all up to you guys if you want him to allow free access throughout his lifetime then you can just leave this thing blank okay now here it says check you if you want your users to continue with free plan after expire so after even after expiring uh, after 30 days if you want your user to just continue with the free plan you can tick mark this if you want to make this as hot plan you can tick mark this but not obviously hot plan uh, free plan can you don't want a free plan to be hot plan okay now click on publish now we have the free plan let's add a basic uh, plan now basic plan basically will be better i'm sorry what is okay huh basic plan will be better than the free plan obviously there we gave four options now let's give some more okay now we are giving for a few more options and for this thing we'll be charging same background color we'll see what this background color is when we see the uh the website okay 
Now for here, we can charge, for example, $2 per listing, $5 per listing, $100 per listing. It's all up to you. It's your website, bro. Do whatever you want with cents, obviously. Okay, so select the price, select the duration. Okay, so for 30 days, okay. So within 30 days, he has to do this thing. Okay, this doesn't make any sense because this is a free plan. If you want your user to be uh, to go with, for example, after expiry, if you want your user to go with free plan, just tick mark this. If you want to make this hot plan, yes, I want to make this hot plan. Just tick mark this thing, click on publish. If you're not understanding anything, don't worry. When we'll see uh, the output of this plans, you'll get everything. Okay, so just follow me and don't worry. I'll show you. I'll clear all your doubts. Now click on add new price plan. Okay, now let's make this premium professional, whatever you want to name it. And here we want to allow all the options. We want to give access to all the options. Okay, paper listing or paper package all up to you. Change the background color. Now this is premium. So obviously it will be higher than the basic price. I'll click on OK. I'm sorry. Now we have this duration price will be $5. That was $2. This will be $5. Okay. Now we can also give some more days to this poor guy. Okay. Uh, one plan is already uh, marked as hot plan. So we don't want to mark this thing also. Now click on publish. So with this, we have created our three plans, three awesome plans. Now we have to create a page where we can show these three plans. Okay. That makes sense now go to pages hover pages and click on add new now create a new page price and plan or whatever you call it pricing and planning or different plans whatever you call it just click on that and click on publish actually we didn't have to create this page because we already have this page select your plan just click uh, open this uh, page in a new tab to see that pricing plan is the name okay guys so we have this thing over here we didn't have to create so you can delete this page price and plan page which we have created just now because we already have a page which says select your plan page so with that we have it over here and as you can see this is the background color which we were selecting the blue and you know when we tick mark this thing this is allowed and these things won't be allowed okay now let's see the payment option because after this the user will be making a payment Okay, make sure when you click on add listing, okay, you're not redirected to the submit listing. Here we are redirected to the submit listing, which is a problem. Just go back. Now we have to make the payment changes so that, you know, it doesn't happen that way. Now, uh, after coming to the dashboard, scroll down theme options and select payment. Okay, payment settings. Okay, now the first option is submitted listing should be approved by admin yes obviously we will first approve then and uh, now we have enable paid commissions okay submission yes currency for paid submission you can select your currency from your left currency position paypal and checkout api select live sandbox is basically when uh, you know your website is in development stage and you just have a testing situation going on but we'll make this all live, both the thing. Okay. Checkout page, make sure payment checkout page is selected. Okay. Failed payment page, select this payment fail. All these things are already created. Don't worry. Just select the page. Thank you page. Just select this and select the thank you. Where is it? Payment success. Okay, fine. Payment success or thank you. Let's see whether we have a thank you page. We don't have. So basically it will be. A payment success now click on save changes now go to PayPal settings click on enable now open your PayPal in a new tab okay guys so this is your PayPal homepage scroll down and at the left hand side you will see selling tools just click on seller preferences from here new window will open Okay, here you have API access over here, as you can see API access. Beside that, uh, a button or a link which says update, just click on that. And 
click on or select this one view api signature now it will authenticate whether you are the real guy so you can select receive an sms or whatever you can select your mobile number click on continue okay i got the message if you hear that fine now click on continue now you can click on show and it will show your username your password your signature okay and you can copy all those things from here paste it over here okay username password api signature just click go on clicking uh, this things signature and so on and the last option is paypal receiving email address put in your email address obviously don't put in my email address or else i will start getting your money or if you want if you're generous enough then you can do that just click on save changes then you can also make stripe settings enabled in fact i would recommend going for stripe but unfortunately stripe is not yet available in my country in in, in india so that's why i'm not able to do all these settings but if you guys uh, are in us or germany or these kind of countries then basically you'll have this thing you ha have this stripe option make sure you use this stripe that is more recommended because in stripe we have the ssl certificate and because of that you can make payment or the user can make payment on your own website on your website okay so that is awesome now we have direct payment uh, if you want to receive direct wire payment then you can make this enable and instead of your full name and uh, mailing address you can put in your in, in, in address then your bank account number swift code and so on fine you can put all these things if you want to receive direct payment okay but i just make it disable tax setting okay if you want to enable tax setting evaluated tax just name the tax and tax rate okay and you can enable this thing i'm just disabling this and i think everything is fine now click on save changes and i think this was the last step hopefully now again coming back to your website just refresh the website first okay guys after doing the payment setting now when you click on add listing page uh, this button you should be redirected to this page pricing plan so let's do that i have clicked on add listing and let's see okay so it is redirecting us to the same page so this is awesome we are successful now let's see how it works so basic plan let's click on continue okay we are going with basic plan now the submit listing is current uh, coming so this is good okay just put in any title subtitle whatever it is i just don't like doing this man typing and all this stuff so i'll just put in anything title tagline anything i said anything tagline so tagline put in your city your phone number this is my phone number you can call me if you want website you know my website obviously blog2.com the awesome website full address mumbai is enough mumbai maharashtra india okay munich what is that germany mumbai select your category i'm selecting i'm selecting hotels and when you select hotels as i said you will get this option features you'll get this option additional option here also so first we see how to add listing from the dashboard now we are seeing how to add a listing uh from a user's uh, point of view okay price range you can select moderate pricey whatever you want put some description just okay so just put any description put any fact i don't like this typing stuff so i'm, I'm really sorry just put in anything i don't want to waste your time also just typing all this thing again and again just put in all this url over here if you want to put a business video you can do that you can also upload images let's upload some images uh, select any listing thing select this one banners not banners mission okay select this click on open all these things are uploaded now click on save and preview okay this will redirect us to this page 
now as you can see guys now the user can see a preview of their listing and now if they like it they can pay and publish if they don't like it they can edit so suppose the user likes it and it says pay and publish so he'll be redirected to the checkout page that is fine isn't it okay so you'll have to select this thing and he'll also have to select the paypal it is only showing pay paypal because i have done this setting if you want to go for stripe which i recommend if stripe is there in your country go for stripe that is awesome having a checkout on your own website is very important okay now click on proceed checkout okay guys as you can see we are redirected now when the user pays everything will be paid and in the dashboard you will see under listing just go to listing here it is Titkal. instead of title we put titkal so here it is it is showing pending if you want you can go ahead click on edit and click on publish if you want if the user has paid the amount and if you have received the amount then you can go ahead and do that okay just click on publish if you have received that amount and you that you'll learn over here in the invoices click on that okay if there is there is no success invoices right now so if there is any you will see over here if there is any pending if there is any failed you will see all those things over. so when you receive a success uh, payment you can you know just um, uh, let go that listing okay you can approve that listing for that website okay guys so with this we complete this awesome tutorial i hope you guys have enjoyed it it has helped you guys i hopefully and uh, there might be many uh, flaws many you know ups and downs in my video don't consider that please i'm trying to improve myself day by day and uh, i have worked a lot uh, really hard for making this on research and development and so on and i hope you guys have enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss anything because soon i'll be creating a new video on multi-vendor e-commerce website which is awesome really awesome and it is in so much demand in fact every day i get messages man create a, a, a video on that so i'm working on that and hopefully within a month i'll try to make that video so make sure you subscribe to my channel to you don't miss anything make sure you give a thumbs up to this video also share this thing with your friends if you know any friend who you can share this video with okay thanks a lot for watching guys see you soon